This is the type of indictment you would expect from someone in the mafia. I don't know that I could keep him off the stand. He is very eager to tell his story. They're going to show that video over and over and over about what happens to women that won't change their stories. His reputation uh, is over. The United States government, they start making this case as a takedown of a successful black man. TMZ presents The Downfall of Diddy, The Indictment, now streaming on Tubi. Well, Diddy is not giving up, um, even before he gets to the trial, he's not giving up on trying to get out of jail. You know that he has been uh, turned down twice uh, to get out on bail, and he is being held uh, in Brooklyn and will be there until the trial begins. Unless, unless, unless he appeals and an appeals court says the judge was wrong, the judge should have allowed him to post bail, which is exactly what they are going to try and do. Right, and he has brought in new lawyers to try and get this done. Uh, I, Here's get to the lawyers in a second. I just don't know no. what's, how has the argument changed? The, 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 the problem is this, that the same things that the judge said before, there's a, there's a, legal, there's, there's a legal standard when you appeal something like this. And the legal standard is, did the judge abuse his discretion? Because ultimately, this is a discretionary thing. And it is a high standard to, uh, for an appellate court to meet to say, we're going to superimpose our view of it over the trial judge's view of it. And what the trial judge was saying is, look, he is a flight risk and a danger in the sense of that he's tried to witnesses. intimidate and influence witnesses in the case. And because he's a man of means, um, we can't allow him to go free pending the trial. Now, you might think that's draconian or not, but that was the, judge, the trial judge's decision. It's going to be hard to make that case to reverse what the trial judge did at the appellate court level. Harvey, I'd go beyond hard. I, I think this is an impossible task. You're asking an appellate court judge to say that the trial court judge got, got it wrong, to your point, abuse of discretion, but it's based on the evidence before the trial judge. It's going to be a tremendous amount of deference given to the trial judge on their and his interpretation of the evidence. I can't, I can't see an appellate court overruling it just simply based on some sort of abuse of discretion. Just, it's not here. No. And, you know, the other thing that we should talk about is that we have spoken with Diddy's lawyer, in fact, in our documentary, uh, which, by the way, is streaming right streaming now right on Tubi, now. Um, uh, the downfall, downfall of Diddy, of Diddy. the indictment. <clears throat> um, and what he said was, look, um, we are going to move for a speedy trial. And he had a sense that the feds didn't have all of their ducks in a row, and he wants to exploit that, and he wants to go to trial, and he wants to do it quickly. So that may be the best resolution, just in terms of giving him the ability to make his case if he's found not guilty, where obviously he would go free, but I, I agree with Jason. I just do not see that happening. Well, the, the new lawyers that he uh, has brought on, added to the team, uh, one of them is, her specialty is dealing with appellate courts, Alexandra Shapiro. Interesting the last name is Shapiro. No right? relation to uh, Bob, Shapiro. Bob Shapiro, who was, of course, on OJ's dream team. And it seems like Diddy is trying to assemble one himself. And then the other person is Anthony Rico, uh, who is uh, renowned as a, a trial uh, a trial attorney. So. And, the, and, and the name Rico is interesting in this case right. because this it is, is a, a Rico, Rico case. case. Right. So, um, look, I mean, they're going to bring lawyers in. That's totally expected. Right. Um, and the reason to bring the appellate lawyer in is that as they get closer to trial, there are going to be motions um, that they may want to appeal if they don't go the way of the defense. Um, and during the trial, there may be decisions made that they want to go up on an emergency writ, we call it, um, those things are really unlikely. I mean, usually the trial court plays it out and then you appeal. I, I will say, Alexandra Shapiro is one of the nation's premier appellate lawyers. She is the real deal. I mean, he's giving himself, this is what money buys you, right? It buys you access to the best lawyers in the country, and she is among them. So I suppose if there's some grounds for appeal that we're not seeing, Harvey, she's going to find it. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Hey, this is Flo from Cleveland, Ohio. Guys, with all the mountain allegations and evidence, I think Diddy is going to surely need a dream team much like OJ, and we are looking forward to the trial of a century. You know, I want to say just one other thing real quickly. We got Akon at the airport, and 
The way he spoke about this, to me, just underscores the fact that Hollywood generally has not, like, spoken out. And he, he's, but he's speaking. He's, sort of, he's speaking, but he's explaining why he's not, gonna, he's not saying much right. and why others aren't even saying what he's saying. So listen carefully to this. I think the, the, the business in itself is taking a, a, a shift. Um, if you look at it from a spiritual perspective, music hasn't been the greatest role model for our youth. That's if you true. look at it these days. So I just think it's a spiritual shift that's happening. And we just got to sit back and relax and watch. Mind our own business. And whatever people are doing on their personal time is something they have to deal with on their own. But the idea of like the government seeing, you know, somebody as a target for being for their success. I mean, that, at least that's how the lawyer's playing it. It's not the first time we've heard this rhetoric. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, but it's a defense mechanism. At the end of the day, you know, um, we've got to all sit back and let it play out. 